Programmers have vastly different environments. Some are very minimalistic, others not so much. And that environment directly affects your code. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of programmer do you wanna be? Where do you wanna be programming every single day? And one of the biggest factors is what your font should be. Or at least that's what we're gonna be testing today. We're gonna to take a look at five different fonts and see if any of them make me a better programmer. We're gonna be starting off with the default font in VS Code, Menlo, which also just happens to be the font that I personally use because I never switched it when I was just starting to use VS Code for the very first time. This is what it looks like. I'm a big fan, which is why I've been using it. And all I gotta say is, don't hate on the people that use the default. So I've asked ChatGPT to give me five different code snippets, each one of them with a logical error in it. I was gonna start with a syntax error, but then I was like, I code in TypeScript every day, so what would be the point? Test.js, paste it in. All right, immediately I see we have two problems here. One, the editor kind of already figured out what the error was, and two, ChatGPT told me what the error was. Don't tell me the solution. Close my eyes, let generate. All right, we got our first code snippet. Let's begin. Some array. Oh, this should be, I see. That's awkward. This is my default font too. The second font we're testing is Comic Shans. I thought it'd be kind of a good idea to just do a bad font to see if it like hurts my eyes as I'm reading it and stuff. To test out all these different fonts, I'm using a website called programmingfonts.org, which makes my life very easy. You just pick random fonts and they just come up over here. We'll go back to Comic Shans, paste in our code block, and let's see if I can find the problem. This is a very aggressive greater than sign. I mean, yeah, okay, that's the problem. That was easy mode, guys. Um, honestly, I like this font. I could see myself using this font, to be honest. Next up, we have Fira Code. This is just an OG classic font. I had to give it a try. It just has these ligatures that some people absolutely love, some people absolutely hate. All right, Fira Code, here we go. I have no idea what the bug is here. I see. <laughs> Well, that was dumb. I kind of assumed it was gonna give me a logical error here. That's how ChatGPT got me. Well, kudos. Honestly, this font doesn't feel that much different to me than Minlo, staring at it. I'm not a huge fan of ligatures. I don't really like the slant sign. Next up, we have JetBrains Mono, and this is a typeface for developers, which is fantastic because that is what I am. It makes me just wanna code in Java and not in JavaScript. All right, here we go. I'm wondering if this is, should be age equals to, that might be the error. Maybe I'm just dumb in the head, but I, these fonts all seem like way too similar to me. And the biggest difference is like the ligatures. Last but not least, we have a paid font, Mona Lisa. This font follows function, which I like a lot because functions are great. We're doing remove element right away. That's a beautiful boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this being the bug. I actually like a lot how this, like, the keywords are like a little extra funky. Actually, a big fan, even though it's paid, kind of felt nice on the eyes. My takeaway from this is I can't really tell the difference between the five different fonts all that much. I think that means I should just be sticking with the default. 